Hello everybody, Lance here, and uh, I've got quite a few comments on my old videos complaining about how they are outdated due to the changes of Blender 2.8 uh, nowadays. And uh, yeah, Blender 2.8 is still under development and there were many changes since I made those videos. So I don't expect beginners to be able to figure out the changes all by, them, by themselves. So I think uh, the basic series is basically useless at the moment. So I'm going to wait until Blender 2.8 is released before I remake the um, basic series. So for the time being, I am going to make tutorials for the more advanced uh, users. Uh, people who have a little bit of uh, experience, who can uh, figure out the changes all by themselves without uh, much explanation. Okay, so this series is going to be about uh, creating this particular picture from start to finish. And uh, the whole process took me 16 hours and spanned through the course of uh, two weeks. So obviously it's going to be a time lapse. Okay. And uh, instead of, uh, instead of uh, talking about the technical details of how I do certain things, I will instead talk about the uh, thought process and uh, artistic decision of the, the, the process. Okay. So with no further ado, let's get started. All right. Everything start with the sphere. But the shape of the sphere does not even matter because I was going to use the dynamic topology feature to sculpt everything. So yeah, the, the sphere will be completely destroyed and turned into something else. So initially I used the grab brush to move things around to block out the main shape of the, the human figure. And then I used the uh, clay strip brush to uh, block out the main feature of the face as well as the uh, rest of the body. Now the eye socket uh, is uh, unclear because uh, I need to have the eyeballs before I properly make the eye socket. So it's uh, very important to have the eyeballs early on. Now of course these eyeballs are also not very uh, precise, I mean correct. So yeah, I'm gonna change the eyeballs later on but uh, for now let's leave it that way. Now, as you can see, I separated the character into different meshes. Uh, this is because none of the mesh will have too much uh, geometry, so it will not slow down my brush strokes. And uh, it's also much easier to fix the mistakes later on. Now the shoulder is a very important part uh, because the shoulder is one of the sexiest part of the human body and uh, it also moves in many different directions so the shoulders alone deserve a separate mesh. And as you can see, uh, I stick very closely to real anatomy. Now, you don't have to uh, be very correct in terms of uh, anatomy, but uh, since I learned anatomy quite a lot, so I use my anatomy knowledge in this particular project, but many other artists can actually create stunning looking characters without uh, having any real anatomy. You know, the bodies and the arms are all just tube kind of shape but I prefer to make the model anatomically correct. 
Now at this point the main shapes are all in place. I increase the details and go in and sculpt them the smaller details such as the creases of the uh, eyelid as well as the sides of the nose and define the lips some more. Now this face actually looks uh, very bad and in fact if I am to render this face right now it will look very very creepy but uh, at this point I don't really care about the beauty of the artwork but I care more about the anatomy as well as the um, uh, proportions and uh, later after I retopologize this uh, mesh I will fix the face to make her pretty Now, the ears is a very complex part, but uh, they're not very important. So I don't bother much with the anatomy of the ear for this project. Uh, besides, most of the ears are going to be hidden underneath the hair, so it does not even matter. Alright, the ears are in place and uh, it is time to show some love for the arms. The arms as well as the shoulders are actually very hard so uh, I spend quite a lot of time tweaking and sculpting the shoulder mus muscles as well as the um, uh, surrounding areas. Uh, so uh, even though this might look kind of alright at this point but uh, as soon as the shoulders start to move I mean as soon as I start uh, rigging the, the shoulder and, the, uh, and uh, pose the character the shoulder will cause quite a lot of trouble so I want to make the shoulder as correct as I can before moving on to retopologize it For this project, I wanted to test my knowledge of anatomy so I don't have my reference with me at this point and I was sculpting everything out of my memory. Now later in this project, I opened up a reference and uh, discovered a few mistakes and fixed them but for the time being there is uh, no reference so I ended up uh, with quite a lot of mistakes. Alright, everything is pretty much in place. I'm just rotating around and try to find my mistakes and correct them before moving on to merge everything. So as you can see, throughout this project I switch back and forth between the different part of the, the model. And uh, this is to prevent uh, the uh, boredom because uh, spending too much time on a certain part of uh, the body tend to make me lose my mind and uh, fail to evaluate the work.
Alright, so I just try to play some lights here so that I can see the true forms of the uh, model because uh, the viewport they are quite deceiving and um, it does not re represent your artwork very well and uh, usually the render will turn up uh, very different. I need some test render before deciding what to tweak and uh, how to tweak certain things. Everything are quite in place at the moment and uh, it is time to merge uh, the parts into one mesh. But uh, before we do that, I would like to make the eyeballs. Alright, now it is time to merge the body. Before I merged the body, I copied everything and moved them into a layer called Backup, so that later if I want to change them something, I can just open up the backup layer and start changing things. So yeah, always back up your, your work before moving on. Alright, the face is still very ugly at the moment, but I don't care, I just need a face to re and then make her pretty later. Alright, the face is almost done and it is also time to merge the face. That's it for this video, in the next one I will start the retopologizing process. I'll see you next time.